Springtrap. Springtrap, let go. Springtrap, I'll explain what I can, but you need to settle down and listen to me. There. I have a whole file on you, you know. Everything you did, laid out cleanly. Every terrible thing. But I think if I'm really going to help you, I need to hear your version. So tell me exactly why you did what you did. No judgment. Not right now. <sighs> okay, Goldie, you're probably not gonna understand half of this shit. But just work with me, okay? An explanation that I don't understand half of is better than nothing. Okay. Okay, it was, what, late 1984, a couple months after Ben got ripped to pieces. Things have calmed down. Seems pretty normal. Quiet, I guess. They never did figure out what happened to him. You wanna know what they told everybody? Said it was a freak thing. Random axe murderer came in, started chopping him up, decided to shove the body in one of the suits. I didn't really believe it because George and I we saw the body. That wasn't an axe murder, trust me. I found out what axe murder looks like, and it's not that. I found out what it was though, that night. I mean, I know I'm not the smartest guy out there, but you didn't have to be that bright to put two and two together after what happened. What I didn't figure out then was how bad it was gonna get. I really, really wish I knew then how bad it was gonna get. I was minding my own business, doing the night shift. Okay, sleeping on the night shift. This was before I knew that could get you killed. And then I made the mistake of waking up. <laughs> you know those people? Okay, Cody, you don't, but work with me here. You know those people who watch horror movies and go, Why do they do that? That's so stupid, I would never do that. You know they say they keep their head if the supernatural shit hit the fan. Those people are fing liars. I mean, you can get used to it a couple years and then trying to kill you every night. It's kinda hard to not go kinda numb. But the first time? That first time is pantsingly terrifying. Golden Freddy just came out of nowhere, and I knew, I knew I was going to die. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't know why I went for the security monitor. Blind panic, I guess. Grab the thing, hide behind you from the monster. But the thing is, it worked! No death by bear! So I did whatever anybody else who just narrowly avoided death by ghost bear would do. I called my best friend for help, and, well... Uh, hello? George! George! You gotta get down here, man! The bear is trying to kill me, George! It's like 2am, are you high? Because you sound high. Don't ask what being high means, Goldie. Anyway, George? Not a lot of help. 